Hello all, welcome to my channel Codify with Sonal. Today I will be sharing with you how can you prepare for your AWS Solution Architect Associate exam SAA C03. Before that, let me introduce myself. I am Sonal Gupta, software engineer by profession with 5 plus years of experience. I am AWS Cloud Practitioner certified as well as AWS Solution Architect Associate certified. So let's start. The topics which we'll be discussing today are why to get AWS Solution Architect certified, about the exam, study material resources, study plan, and validating your knowledge. So what is AWS? AWS is Amazon Web Services provided by Amazon to have on-demand cloud computing. It is basically a, a pay-as-you-go model. So it is a mix of infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service. All these things are being provided by AWS. Now, why to know about AWS? So, AWS is one of the fastest growing public cloud in the world. AWS skills is on the top list, like in the most demanding and you have really good high paying jobs. It's the leader in cloud, I would say. Then, why to get AWS certified? Is Will it be helping you to get the job? So it's not that you get AWS certified and you will get the job. No, it's just like uh, it gives you, if you are already in a job, it gives you a better outstanding performance compared to other colleagues. You outstand your achievement and uh, then it is like you might have a great chance of expanding your professional network, bringing in more projects. So cert certificate alone cannot help you in getting a job. It will act as a catalyst to outstand your performance from other candidates. Suppose two candidates are applying for the same position. They give the test and everything. But one is AWS certified and one is not. So there are like chances that you might get the job better. The person who is AWS certified. So yes. Go ahead and plan your certification. To do that, you need to know what all is there in the exam. The information what you're seeing on the screen has been taken by me from actual uh, AWS certification page. So this is an associate level exam and you can uh, give it at home by an online proctored system through Pearson View or PSI or you can go ahead and book a testing center. So there are 65 questions, multiple choice questions with multiple responses. So there can be uh, one question with uh, Three, an three correct answers or two correct answers. The best part here is though no negative marking. So you are free to guess the answer which can hopefully give you a right answer so that you get good marks. And uh, then the time be taken is uh, 130 minutes that is 2 hours 10 minutes. The passing marks is 72%, 720 by 2, 1000. The cost of this examination is uh, $150. Let's see the study material resources. So AWS Skill Builder is the one uh, which is being provided by AWS itself. So you can check it out. I will put the link in the description box. Various uh, other courses which you can use, which are very good, is Adrian Candrell's course, Neil Davis or Stefan Marek. Anyone, whichever you find, uh, all are good. I would not say this is good or that is better. All are really good. So we come to the next part that is the study plan. So I have seen uh, many people, you know, struggling with the study plan, uh, keeping the chapters, you know, okay, fine. I would have this one to 10 chapters by this week. I guess uh, that did not work for me. So I would say, tell you how I did it. So most important thing is study plan needs to be consistent, which I missed a little. And uh, five to six weeks is a good amount of time you can spend to finish your exam. Like you can at least get the preparation done. But if you five to six weeks, if you give it consistently, then you will be ready to take this exam. So in week one, what do you need to know is what are the services included? What all you need to study and, you know, spend time in learning what kind of services are there. So if you take a topic, say compute. So compute has a lot of services. It's not only EC2. It's Lambda, 
So you need to take out the topics, database. So database, DynamoDB, RDS, Aurora. So you can just take it as a major and minor topic. Take the major one and understand what are its usage and what type of services you have in the major one. Then you can have, uh, you can do more of hands-on labs. There are a lot of free labs, guys. Uh, Wiz Labs and AWS Educate Workshop. Lot of labs where you can just uh, do it for free. You do not need to register your debit or credit card. You can try it for free. So that is the best part, right? You learn it by doing it rather than just reading theory. So this should be your week one plan. Get to know things. What are they? Just like kind of two three lines about each service, and that's a very easy task. I'm telling you. Then week two, we come to the week two. Uh, it's like you should accomplish that. Okay, fine. Now, as I said, you two to three lines per service you should know. So, why this service is used? For what reason it is used? Get your answers like to the point, so that when you study at the last, you will be having proper keywords. That okay for this keyword, this is the service which I will be using. Try to create that kind of notes which you can refer just one week before your exam. So get your answers to the top notch. Then you go ahead with week three. So week three you get into more detailing. You can analyze the topic, see some topic based questions, and try to answer them. Why? Because uh, it's not like okay, fine, you will study two three paragraphs and you can answer. No, questions are uh, very different from the way you studied. So make sure that when you are studying a topic, suppose storage. So in S three you have storage classes. So get things that okay fine storage classes. What are the specific problem where you should use when you should use what kind of storage classes. So you can maybe analyze that okay fine I did S three I did storage classes. So let me go and just uh, check out S three questions and mark whatever you do not. Uh, No, and maybe you can have uh, study uh, study mates who can help you out, and Google the best planner to help. Then you go ahead with week four. So now here you should start practicing question and answers which you have already done topic wise in earlier week. Now you can just. Uh, I would say that if you are preparing for the exam point of view, then you should. Keep practicing. Focus two weeks on the topics. Then you need to keep practicing and learning through questions. Through questions, you will learn more. You know, when you get in the deep level, okay, I uh, know this kind of questions will come. So tutorial dojo is one of the best practicing questions to get an idea of how and what type of questions you will face in your exam. So you can just uh, I'll put the link for the tutorial dojo as well. Then you can come to week five. And you need to keep practicing and also keep marking. I would say you can maintain a kind of book where you have where you can leave five to six pages for every service. Keep on adding points as you see in the question. Okay, fine. This for this pointer, you need to use this service. Go to that service and write a pointer so that while revising and learning, you will be able to see. Okay, fine. I used this in that particular service. Then going through FAQs and uh, white papers. This is very important, guys. FAQs and white papers are very very important because most of the questions are being asked through FAQs and white papers. So week six. So congratulations, you have come to the most important week. So now, uh, you as I said, you practice uh, tutorial dojo or any other practice exam. What you feel comfortable. I feel personally tutorial dojo as the best. So once you keep on consistently scoring eighty percent or more, then only go ahead and schedule your exam. So the reason why I asked you to make notes keyword wise is because in the last week you can go through them, and in exam you do not get question for one service. Okay, for storage, which service will you use? This is not the type of question you will get. You will get a combination of service, mostly serverless or you know serverless with DynamoDB, Lambda, API Gateway. All are pitching in in the same question. 
so you need to really combine your thinking process about the services together and then try to answer your questions so guys be ready to rock your exam if you have any questions regarding aws please let me know i'll be happy to answer them and uh, we will be starting some kind of basics uh, how you can plan and uh, more detailing videos so guys uh, all the very best and uh, let me know if you have any questions regarding aws or what kind of uh, aws videos would you like to see also please check out my other videos con containing java tutorials till then stay happy and let's codify with sonal in the next video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you